So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to be here this afternoon, same time, same place as last week. So today is our second lecture of this amazing, I think, amazing project. There's a lot to learn. And anyway, what can you do with this lockdown? So <laughs> to spare an hour with us, I think it's fantastic in this project we have great lecturers so last week we have the first one was latin with ruslan this week we have a great lady a great woman i don't know if you ever heard about her she lives in italy caterina arzenton not only a champion a great champion not only a great dancer not only a great teacher not only a great friend a fantastic woman you can always believe in Katerina, she'll tell you the truth. You like it, you don't like it, so be it. She will tell you as it is. And we do need those kind of people as friends and especially in this business. So it's with great honor here as the vice chairman of the CDEB to introduce you, Katerina Arzenton. Please. Great. And enjoy your lecture. I look so forward for this, uh, for the title that I gave you. So I'm all ears. Thank you, thank you Mirko. Thank you all the WDC to give me this opportunity. I mean, uh, in the beginning, you know, I did a bit hated because uh, he's a new thinker. I'm not that uh, good in speaking uh, with people publicly. I mean, for me, it was a very good opportunity to be a dancer because I didn't have to speak to people really because uh, i'm always uh, to shine my english is not good maybe what i say is too strong so anyway i grew up in the dancing and i thanks all the wdc to give me this opportunity in this new world at the moment unfortunately for this virus covid where it damaged uh, so many people damage uh, so many families Many people die, so I feel very sorry regarding that. But of course, we always must say that life must go on. And we need to make it better and analyze why things are happening. So now I'm here speaking to myself because I can see only myself. Normally, I like to have a feedback from people, even in my private lessons. If a couple does not give me feedback, I will send them out after five minutes of the lessons. But anyway, I have to be modern. I have to be, uh, I know you are there and listen to me. If anybody wants to ask any question, you can write and maybe I will answer, not sure. Like Mirko says, uh, you know, for me, true is very important. Uh, lies, uh, they have a short legs uh, and I don't think uh, lie to people is a good thing. Maybe my true, it will be not nice to everybody, but I think it's always very good to tell people what they really think. Maybe it's not the true, but it's my true. And uh, therefore, people cannot can know me and um, they will know my point of view. And uh, I am the same in the dancing. Uh, people who know me, uh, People having lesson with me, I'm ne no, or maybe nearly never a nice teacher. Uh, not because I am bad, but because I know uh, people spending so much money to have lessons and traveling, and uh, they want to build up their career. Therefore, career is very important, like I did. I started to go in England uh, when I was a little girl. I think I was 15, 16, maybe no more than that. And uh, I cried many times, I was uh, sweating many times, I spit, if I can say, blood every single day because I didn't want to make it. So I, I, I realized uh, many teachers, some teachers, they were true to me, they were saying, no good enough, no good enough, no good enough. So those teachers make me work hard and hard and hard. Some teacher was please me, it was like, yeah, it's better than before. But when is better? Better to win, my question is that. When, because we want to win anyway. We want to be better, yes, of course, but mainly 
we want to be better because we want to win. So for me, when I speak about dancing, it's like speaking about uh, me, me, because I need to tell the truth and to tell if it's not good, it's not good. I cannot say it's better. It's better, it's not good for me enough. Have to be better, perfect. Have to be what I believe. So the title Mirko gives to me today is a bit uh, a strong title, but I love it, of course. I mean, it's like a WDC and WDSF. <clears throat> or maybe we can say, where are we coming from with the ballroom dancing? And uh, what are we doing in 2020? Or let's say 19, because uh, this year we didn't have no much to see about dancing, but uh, is uh, is uh, something developed in a way where I not like very much. I mean, I'm quite a um, classical girl. I always uh, follow the rules. If I break the rules, and uh, sometimes I do, uh, I like to break the rules in the rules. So I can make some tricks, but have to be tricks on the rules. So where we are today, uh, I prepare myself in a funny way, you know, I have no feedback with you. So speaking one hour, I will bore myself like hell, maybe, but let's see how it's going. So I prepare myself in this way. I decide to dance ballroom dancing because it's attached to the men. At that time, I did not know the men, but that is okay. Men, they are beautiful human being if you understand them. If you don't understand them, it's horrible animals. But if you understand them, they are beautiful sometimes. Anyway, I start to dance uh, ballroom because uh, Latin was uh, too much touching myself, too much sexy and um, was not good for me. So ballroom was perfect, long skirt, attached with the men. If you make a mistake, sometimes the man can help you, hold you, or whatever. Anyway, as a lady in the ballroom, you feel like you dancing, man leading you, and the lady follow at my time. I cannot say today is the same thing. But anyway, the way I prepare myself today is I want to show you this. I don't know if you can see it clearly. The year of this book is, what is it? Here, okay, here. 6061, Alex Moore, 6162, 6263, and go on, okay? What is this? This is my bubble. And my religion, yes, in the ballroom dancing. My God was Bill and Bobby Irvine, of course. My main teacher, I did have other main teacher in England, like Richard and Janet, Michael and Vicky, Anthony Early, Bennett and Meyer. Of course, they were absolutely great teachers. Don't let me forget Len Armstrong. Otherwise, he will get upset next time he see me. But let's say my major, my main, my God was Bill and Bobby. And uh, they were like, Bill was absolutely technical man. I mean, he loved, he loved technique. He write a book. This is my, the bubble he introduced me, you see. This is the bubble I have studied. For many, many, many years, I did also make many videos regarding the technique book in the ballroom dancing. But when uh, WDC asked me to do this lecture, uh, I was thinking, okay, of course I know what I like and I don't like. And I know we develop, for example, if I may say, we saw a big development in the Latin uh, world when uh, at that time, when I was arriving in England, uh, they were dancing with the catsuit. I don't know if young people know what is the catsuit, but anyway, it's a very tight uh, tuta, como se dice tuta? One piece, one piece dress, elastic, 
and they were dancing with the arms, you know, like uh, nothing uh, in harmony, it was everything stiff and uh, static. This is my definition. I saw uh, Mr. Donny Burns and Gaynor Feudar and BE develop the Latin American. And uh, they start to wear different dresses. Donny start to wear the, the trousers with the pants and uh, a shirt outside the trousers. Everybody was against that, but because they were strong in the belief, they made it. And today we have this kind of Latin dancing where it develops, but it's not out of rules. They still uh, uh, use the technique, they still use the footwork, they use the principle of the leg action, they use the principle of the arms, they, use the, they develop the body action. Instead of being a little action, it becomes big action. What is happening in the ballroom is uh, quite different. Different because instead of develop our technique and make it better. I must say that, you know, in my picture I, I prepared today for you, I, I, I did prepare some pictures where I start from this picture, you see? Look. My mentors, Billy Bobby Irvine. What you see is, uh, what you see is, uh, I must say that if you see the curve of Bill, he does have a curve here. And Bobby does have a curve. They are the center together. They are no close position. I think this picture is, uh, I don't know which year, but quite a long time ago. And then I prepare to start with the, the technique book. It, Anyone who read the technique book, you know, you are aware, there is only the posture, the position, and the footwork, direction, body movement, but there is uh, not much development in this book. And I know when I arrived in England, the dancing was a little bit more static. I must say, me and Augusto Schiavo, as Italian with a different temperament, we did develop uh, in movement, we did develop in, uh, I think we were the most powerful couple at that time. <clears throat> and also at this time, because uh, to, what I don't like today is uh, this, I will show you. Uh, no, 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 let me see here, uh, this. I don't know if you can see me. Of course I cover the face because really I don't want to speak badly about nobody. It's not a critic to the couple. I cover the face, but of course maybe somebody recognized them anyway. I don't want to critic them. I want just to make an example why for me is not a development, but is a going and doing a different discipline. Uh, you see, as example, this footwork here, this foot, I don't know, can you see it? Oh, maybe I, I can take my, let's see, where is it? Here. This foot here is not touching the floor yet. But this leg here is absolutely uncoordinated to the rest of the body. But then I have other picture where by covering the face, it does not come so visual. Uh, here we are, this picture. This is the face of the lady. This is the arms of the boy. Now, from the picture, you can't see very well, but it looked like uh, 
out of order is on top here is on top of the shoulder of the woman if i find out my paper look is here i can show you better here ciao fred Ciao, Caterina, how are you? Very good, thank you. Please enjoy my lesson. I will. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, don't worry. You sound like Italian. <laughs> you see, this is uh, the hand of the boy here. On top of the shoulder of the woman here. What is strange? Strange is... Uh, this. this is the posture we should have. The hand of the man should be here between the spine under the ascella. Come si dice ascella? Under the, the arms of the lady with the longer fingers, the middle finger, this one. Don't, don't get wrong. The, the, this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> should go towards towards the spine therefore the hand continue to follow the design of the body lady body and go in position <coughs> now in that picture the one i just show you this one The hand of the boy is on top of the aspalla. It's not on the back of the lady, it's on the shoulder. I mean, this is, a, this is another dance. I can call this, you know, uh, is, uh, we are so fortunate because we are so international. And uh, therefore, by traveling around the world, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have become uh, knowing different disciplines. Therefore, for these people who want to be so developed, the only thing I can advise to them, look also this one, this end of this boy here. Here, look, here. This is have nothing to do with our correct position. It's a shame because um, I covered the face, but if you could see the face, the neck of the lady is absolutely breaking down. I don't want to think about how many problems when she's coming at my age. Because I try to dance correctly. For example, correctly for me is, uh, let's start from the beginning. You see, this is always my beginning. This is my beginning. This is the human being build. Verticality. The bones on top lined up. We must be vertical. We must be vertical and we must be together with shape vertical. We must have a center in common but we must be vertical. We must have the frame touching each other. This is the only reason why ballroom dancing is come out. We have a curve. Do you know why the woman have a curve? And not the men should not have the men the curve, but only the woman. Is because the woman have a heels. And if you look again, my beginning of lecture, the one I prepare. Let me find out now between all my papers. Here, I went in internet and I found out uh, what is a perfect posture. Postia is uh, this, you see? This is no good. This is no good. Of course, no good. No good. Vertical is good. What I find today, all the men dancing without heels, shame, they could, but they don't. They dance, this is what they dance today. Absolutely back-weighted. 
leaning back, leaning back so much. But uh, we are coming from this. We're coming from this. Look the, man, look, look the hand of the man around the waist of the woman. I don't want to stay here. I mean, don't miss me understand. I don't want to stay here. This is, was the beginning, I understand this. We move the frame absolutely more wide and wide and wide, but we must measure the length of our arms, the length of the height and the length of the arms. We cannot, we should not, we can, you do, you do. You do, but you should not. You do, but you should not make a development of picture by taking the principle of the frame, 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 principle of ballroom dancing, frame away. This is where the hand should be. And this is, where is it? Can't see it anymore. Here we are. If you can see, the hand of this boy is on top of the shoulder of his partner. This, this is out of rules. It's like going, uh, driving in the road in the wrong side. You can, of course you can, but maybe you make damage to the other people or to yourself. Of course they can, they're doing it. Look, they're doing it, they're doing it here also, they're doing it. But is it this allowed? It's not allowed, not because it's, uh, this is, I can't call development. This is ruining the principle of the ballroom dancing. Uh, for these people, I find out uh, the discipline, they should do it uh, because by going around the world, uh, uh, I find out a discipline they can do. What is this? American's mood. The people who want to develop the ballroom dancing in more open, in more shape without contact, without leading and follow. I mean, what I don't like today is there is no leader there is no follow, so there is no man and there is no woman. There is only a routine, a set routine, phrase. I'm not against phrasing, not at all. I being in phrasing, I dance my phrase, but I believe a phrase is good if you do a show. You do a show, you have your own music, or it's good when you build up your routines and you try to build up in phrase with music when you have the highlight or the, the, the part, the calm part, or if you do uh, rubato music, I like all that stuff. But Bill Lording always said to me, if somebody stops you during your routine, what are you doing? Oh, he says, oh, we will be lost. And he says, you see, you're stupid. And of course, we ask why we are stupid. And he says, you know what? He says, at my time, I never dance in praise because I have ears to hear my music. I hear when the orchestra building up the, the, the salendo, come si chiama, the, 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 the highlight, my ear will tell to my heart, to tell to my routine, how to catch up the highlight. Of course, our generation is more, we have more information. We learn the music, we learn the phrase, we learn when is a strong and when is a soft one, when we should accelerate or decelerate. But by dancing only on phrase and just counting, you know, I, I, I hear, Actually, I, I, I hate when uh, I teach somebody and they start to count seven, uh, what well, they do, one, two, three, four, no, they start five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm going like, oh, what's going on here? 
they just count and count and count instead of listen, listen, of course, with the knowledge and the music will tell you what to do. For example, of course, the, the music is built on the same phrase, nearly all kind of. Of course, our music, we dance the music and is, uh, we have a four bar of introduction. That is okay. But not every tune of music, they have the strong beat in the same moment. So if you don't listen to the music, really in the end of the day, only if you count the music, you will not, you will be with the music without sentiment. Without sentiment, we can have robots doing that job. But I believe we are no robots. We are no robots. And I think uh, we missing, we missing the lead, we missing the lead from the men and the leading from the woman because the woman receive the leading from the men and give also some leading to the to the men so in a good couple in a good level we have a lead and follow let's say at the same level we should not follow the same routine all the time only if you have a crush in the floor or if you want to do floor craft because you don't want to crash with another couple, you should be allowed to lead and follow to evitate the crash. But today in the floor, what do we see? Either you crash or either you crash because there is no flow craft. Why there is no flow craft? Because everybody dancing only the routine. They dance in the routine, they don't lead, they don't follow, they don't listen to the music and they change the frame and they change the footwork. What is wrong with changing the frame? You can say nothing, okay, I accept it. Do you want to be more open and open? The more, more than this you can. So I'm happy because before or later you will have a limit. The limit is already passed because the limit is already been passed by the changing of the position of the right hand on the back of the lady. The limit is already passed. So we cannot go further. I hope we cannot go further. Oh, actually you can go further more over than this by doing American spot. Why not? I think it's a beautiful discipline. I think it give you more freedom. I think it give you more development, I think you can do absolutely much more compared to the rules of the ballroom dancing. But if you want to be a ballroom dancer, you must follow the rules. And let's say, if we build a, a house, uh, we must have a good fundament to keep up the house. If you build up a house in the sand, a um, few days later, the house will fall down. So these people cannot maintain a good uh, postia, good postia, good postia, good postia, no good postia, woman, good postia, on balance, not good posture, no balance. Togetherness, verticality, on balance, good dancing. What is good dancing? How can I, how can I decide if it's a good dancing or not good dancing? I decide me myself, nobody have the same, but I think mainly Good dancing for me is coming from the ground, footwork. Footwork, my teacher says, no feet, no fly. And I believe on that. I need to have the correct footwork. Unfortunately, we don't have any book talking about deeply leg action. 
And uh, therefore, that can be confusing, but like I said before, oh, I did make a mess with all my paper. Uh, so let's put this here. Like I said before, technique book. Maybe this is not the beginning, but it's quite a long time ago. Then we have this technique book where they say direction, footwork, traveling through the foot. Then we have uh, another ballroom dancing by Alex Moore where, let's see what it, oh, you see, look, look. Where are we coming from? They were designed the direction of the feet on the floor to understand how, where you should position your foot. Feet, feet, feet. Uh, Oliver Vasetheron created this book. And I read it and it's absolutely special and perfect because it's still speaking about verticality, footwork, uh, movement of the body to what, what, are, we, what, what are we needing the, the, the body, the movement of the body to combine two body of two people to match each other. And then, you know, uh, I, the sooner I come out, I'm quite a fan of the technique. So everything new come out, I want it. It's like, you know, I told you, technique is my bubble. I really believe uh, if you know, and if you do the correct technique, you will be the only champion ever. Because, you know, uh, uh, the dancing is coming from the technique. The structure of our dancing is coming from technique and it's coming from the feet to the body contact, to the direction of the body. When you are in a prominent position, which kind of body contact you should have. Everything is written down in the many bubbles, doesn't matter who. But this is the last one I read, you know? Rudy Kreitz. Ah, I saw the advertisement and I bought it and I read it. Ama says, uh, am I agree with everything? Hmm, maybe not, but I really believe he did a great job because you know, all these pictures, all these picture, they are coming from this book of Rudy Trouts, where he is uh, copyright by Rudy Trouts, 2019, so one year ago. So it's not like, uh, you know, it's not like uh, this. These are quite old. They are older than me, so they are quite old. Am I speaking too much? Maybe, it doesn't matter. I mean, 60-61, So, People can say, wow, Ruby Trauss did not develop the ballroom dancing. Please go and tell him. Because I think, again, he put more information. He, he put also some leg action. He, he did, uh, for example, I have the picture. Let me find out this, how I will do it from here, easier. Um, he tried to show, you know, how you should travel with your body weight between foot, leg, and body weight by using the verticality of the body on balance because we need to be on balance. What am I not like today? I don't like because we go out of frame. Uh, the frame of the man is not uh, in the correct position. I show you that picture. The, 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 the hand of the man is on top of the shoulder instead of be on the back, instead of continue, instead of continue under the arms of the lady, here you see, instead of continue under the arms, instead of be vertical, instead of 
continue from here to abras the lady. And then I saw a quite, uh, you know, 2002, 20, not two, 20, 2020. Uh, everybody is much more looking after their body shape and I can see all the young uh, people there. Very nice structure, muscle build, uh, nice pectoral, nice body form, uh, the abdominal, they are hard like this table, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I was thinking, why this young generation need to build up these kind of muscles? Oh, and I went to myself. I believe it's because they want to look pretty in fashion. Maybe they go in the swimming pool or in the seaside and they want to find out a girl or a boy, doesn't matter what is it, but they want to look like, you know, look after themselves, shave and everything. But then I was thinking about the dancing and I went like, hmm. I think they build up all those muscles because they need those muscles. Well, they say we become a sport. And that is okay, I can accept. Do you want to tell me I'm teaching sport dancing? Okay, I know sport does not allow to go you out of rules. Okay, so if it's sport, Sport does have rules, rules, the our rules, the last technique book where I'm aware, maybe there is another one, but I'm not aware. So for me, the last technique book valuable through, correct for me, is this one of Rudy Trout's, where is being done 2019. So that means this is new generation. And if we are sports, and sport have rules, and these are our rules. Everybody who go out of these rules, for me, they are out. Out, no good, out. Out, out of time, out. Out of rules, out. Sport is pure discipline. I thought I was an artist, but in the end I thought doing a, Four dance in Blackpool or five dance at the World Championships, WDC, WDC Professional World Championships, final, five dance in a row. I think you need to be kind of fit. So fit means sport. Okay, I can mix my, my body is a fit, therefore I can call it sport, but also I am artistic because, why am I artistic? Is because I fake, and I do a movie like uh, somebody telling me, now you are, uh, you are interpreting Pretty Woman, you are Julia Roberts, therefore you have to do this and this and this. No, I'm not artist in that way. I am an artist because by learning my technique, I follow my partner and my partner lead me. Therefore, I am an artist to create the correct principle of what I like, ballroom dancing. Again, we are coming from here. When even the church says that it was no good dance together, it's too north, it's too sexy, two body touching each other. But then we have, uh, when we develop and everybody accepted, we have rules, we have rules also, for example, on the left arms of the man. Here, should be here, look. I remember when I did have lessons with Bill and Bobby, especially Bobby with the Wusto, he was wearing a watch and she was taking a pen and the pen, she make him dance with the pen like this and it should be not broken, but should be one straight line like Ruth Vermeijn, uh, Rudy Trout, sorry, he designed here very, 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 very good. Like this man showing you, very good. Like this, like this. 
boy doesn't. This is out of rules. And because they dance in the Federation of the Sport, WDSF, I'm not against the couple, huh? don't miss me understand, it's not. I just want to tell you what I like and I don't like. I really don't like when you go out of rules. I can't find the picture now. Here we are. These breaking arms is not good. Out of rules, if you're out of rules. Principle, principle rules, if you're out, for me, you are out. I don't like it. I don't like it because development, it does not mean you, you ruin what is the base. Ballroom dancing is like delicious. In Italian, we have delicious. Delicio is Walter, Mazzucca, Polka. We have our rules. The ballroom dancing we do is coming from delicious traditional national dance of England. It's been developed, but it's been developed with the principle. I mean, this is what they teach me. I went in England to learn ballroom dancing because it's their traditional dance. And their traditional dance is principle. The principle is the first year. I mean, I was one of uh, Italian girl coming from Italy does not have a clue of principle, does not have a clue of a good postia. Of course, it's very difficult to do a good postia. It's very difficult to be, aspetta, going 100 miles an hour and be in this shape. I believe younger generation they think this is very easy. They think this is too easy. They think, uh, they think stay like this. Augusto, this is Augusto Schiavo and Caterina Argenton when they won the World Professional WDC Championships in 2000. They think, young generation, they think this is very easy. But my question is, if this is very easy, why uh, good posture, nobody have a good posture, why stay vertical is so difficult? I mean, uh, is uh, uh, 19 years, I stopped competing, okay? And uh, of course, 19 years ago, I was 19 years ago, younger than today. Of course, we can't stop the clock and I don't want to stop the clock because the more I get old, the more I get experience and the more uh, experience I have more knowledge. And I must say, when I was younger, for me, with my structure, it was much more easy to stay vertical in a good position, sitting the correct method, you know, you're sitting and you are vertical. But now, 19 years after my competing career, I find out myself sitting like this, and you know, it's much more easy sitting like this because stay vertical is absolutely very difficult. By going in internet, or if you go to any massage man or whatever it is, they just try to correct your posture because uh, if you have a good posture, you have less trouble, less pain, you don't have the cervical, you don't have the pain on your back, you don't have the pain of your hips. By keeping a good posture, you will have less pain. Now, I cannot imagine when this girl coming at my age, and I'm telling you, by the career I did, by try to stay vertical and blah, 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 Anyway, we anyway abuse our body. So of course, anyway, we have problems. Now these people, when they coming at my age, I believe they will not walk anymore. I think they will have to be to the therapy every single other day because they ruin their body. It's not healthy, but they say sport is healthy. Okay. But if sport is healthy, I don't think they should abuse about their body in this matter. I was having, uh, ah, 
the question is if uh, the couple and is the same couple and i must tell you i took one of the best top couple because they are not so bad in what they are doing actually i think they are quite good but my question is if they believe uh, in their own footwork because for example if we go in, in the details of the footwork for example out of the promenade when we dance the number three of the promenade the walls i'm talking about walls so we are up on two step the three and the footwork say so here and then you do the next step okay in today dance, dancing i don't see anymore that tall hill walk out but i see tall walk out so it is quite a deep discussion to to try to afford it without any feedback so i i just mention it but my question is if these people where they believe that this is the development of the ballroom dancing today do you see her back her neck i don't want to be her on my age tomorrow because her back and her neck it will be so much pain if i have a headache every three days i think she will have headache every single day because she absolutely ruin her spine these arms look like a spider it does not look like a beautiful nice arm of a ballroom woman but my question is if they believe this is development of uh, the ballroom dancing today why when they jump they become vertical why the only reason is because the way we are built the human being they are built is if we do want to do things we have to be using the feet through the floor with the vertical posture and because they did jump quite a lot you can see of course the posture did have to become beautiful and vertical so are they believing on this or they must do this to be correct to jump otherwise they have no chance to jump either you jump like this or either you don't jump why they don't jump uh, where is it why they don't jump like this with this posture i mean it's the same couple but here it look like it look like look like american smooth and here they look like ballroom dancer so i thanks rudy trous to make this book so he make my job much more easy today because he designed all the picture i did want to explain i want to do i want to speak about postia and uh, rudy you see he did the uh, the correct point where the man should be the, the this 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 part of the man should go under the under shoulder lady so he pointed out very easily for me to understand and i believe for everybody is very easy to understand and by continue the hand it will finish where the hand finish but the hand will never finish here that boy he have this hand here here 
this is not possible. I understand it makes more freedom, but it's freedom of something where we cannot recognize. I mean, if I go to judge ballroom dancing, I want to judge ballroom dancing. If they invite me to judge uh, an American smooth competition, I will judge American smooth competition. But I cannot judge, uh, uh, I cannot be invited to judge a ballroom competition and having America's mood competitors. I mean, it's, you know, it's getting confused. I want to be clear. Which cup, which comp did you enter? Did you enter ballroom dancing? Ballroom dancing have principle, have the principle of uh, balance, have the principle of leading and follow, have principle of harmony. I think I escaped the discussion before regarding the muscle, the build of the muscle of the boy. You know why they need those, those muscles? Because they need to hold physically everything. Uh, I think many people know me and Augusto and uh, nothing could be physical. We have to combine together because we were technically correct matching each other technically correct. Today, everything is physical. It is, how can I explain? Uh, there is no communication between the man and the woman. Everything is wide, old, and therefore they need those muscles to cope with that. But that is not the ballroom dancing I learned. And the one I learned is not old style, it's ballroom dancing. Uh, I think I talk, I talk, I say, I don't want to insult anybody. I don't like uh, the new development. I like beautiful footwork. I like a beautiful harmony between men and women. I like to see flow craft. I don't like to see a set routine where you crash to anybody just because you can't do anything else because you cannot flow craft, you cannot change the direction, you cannot lead, you cannot follow. And it's not criticizing no, nobody, it's just what I believe really. To, to finish, I prepare myself something where I really believe and I've been trying to understand that when it was my time to compete, I think in the end, uh, I think in the end uh, something I understand. I think in the end my partner was quite happy about me, maybe too late, but it's never too late. Um, what is it? I lost it. I lost my closing. Let me not get nervous. Please wait a little bit. I need to find this special, uh, find it. Okay, this is what I've been always try for 35 years. No, maybe 30, less than 35. I've been trying to understand, uh, but of course is, uh, you know, uh, nothing is easy. Dance, in communication, in harmony, uh, good technique, good space. Uh, don't disturb, don't touch, don't push, don't pull. I mean, it's not easy. To become a good dancer is absolutely hard working. And you have to work uh, night, morning, afternoon, Christmas, Easter, uh, Ferragosto, holiday. There is no holiday. If you want to become a good dancer with a good principle, there is nothing. You and your dancing. If you have time to go holiday, buy a new bag of Louis Vuitton and blah, 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 blah. Forget it, you are not my champion. But anyway, what I want to show you to close my one hour talking today, I hope Fred Weister enjoyed it. I did. <laughs> Is this. The Ten Commandments of Bobby Irvine. The Ten Commandment of Bobby Irvine is to be seen and not heard. 
to be seen and not felt, to be felt and not hindered, to be seen and not show off. So they see you, but you cannot show off. You have to be seen, but not without any show off. That was very difficult for me to understand. Now I do, or maybe I did, uh, but I understand and I believe it, to move and not move away. To be active, but not activate. To have a tone and not be tense. To receive impulse and not giving it. To receive, uh, to be balanced over your own feet. You hear me? To be balanced over your own feet. To feel dance in your body. To follow, not to lead. But today, unfortunately, my dear Bobby, we have no follow, but we have no leader, so you know. Quite difficult for the girls today to let the music infiltrate your body. This is the Ten Commandments of Bobby Irvine. This is the way I want to leave you because uh, I really believe it. I think if any girls or any boy allow the girls doing this, he will become the champion where he can win today. Today, everybody is the same, everybody is the same is like a cliche. 40 couple, 40 couple the same. The only face change. But the dancing is similar. When I was dancing, I did have in front of me, you know, Anthony Early, Bill Irvin, uh, Hillier, Gleave, Barr, John Wood, of course with a partner, and Lewis, and uh, Marcus and Karen, and then Andrew and Lorraine, because that was the couple for me, every single couple with different style, same principle, but different style. Different style because they have a different character, different taste, different, everybody was their own personality. Now today, I have no personality in the floor. I have one cliche, and this is it. So. This is what Katerina Arzenton think about.